Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys can see, I have braids on and not just braids. I don't have yarn on, so I got these regular braids. And if you guys seen on my channel, I haven't had these synthetic braids on in a while. I found a Marley braids not too long ago and I used those and they weren't bad. They were actually extremely light, which I loved about them, but I couldn't find them anymore, the one I wanted at the store and I needed to braid my hair. So I just ended up getting these synthetic braids. Um, this is synthetic, it's not human hair and before I got this I really wanted to make sure I could leave these in my hair if you guys remember me mentioning to you I can't wear these for long because my scalp itched like crazy when I put them on so I looked more into why it was doing that and it was because of the coating on it pretty much I realized I found Maria Antoinette TV and she does these purple and black box braids which are amazing she has a rundown for you guys on how to prep your hair how to soak the hair into apple cider vinegar which I didn't know about. If you guys seen, I've done this with the Marley braids and it worked out great. And I did it with this synthetic braid as well. I must say doing that, I realized there was this really white gross looking film on the hair that actually came off with the apple cider vinegar, which was great. And once I braided these, I didn't feel anything at all. I didn't have any problem, any itchiness or anything like that. So I realized, great, this is why it was like that. So before I did my hair, I washed it the day before. And after I dried it out with the towel, about 80% dry, I put in my leave-in and I braided those single braids. And I wrapped them all with little scrunchies, if we're gonna call them that, guys, to stretch the hair out so it wouldn't be tangled and it would be easy for me to braid them and they wouldn't have too much tangle at the roots to start with. Well, before I braid these, I do what I do with my yarn braids which was to actually braid my hair before I braided them because I noticed that my hair does a lot better if I actually braid my hair and then braid it. The most important thing I do guys, if you've seen a, so many of my protective style videos, I make sure I moisturize with water. In this case, I use my aloe vera tea spray. You guys see me do that on my channel. It's a quick, easy to do to actually moisturize your hair and I sealed it in with my shea butter mix, which were great. And if you guys can see my hair, I did not do small little braids, guys. I did pretty big braids. I don't like small braids anymore in my hair. That's how I ended up with this trash and alopecia in the first place years ago. So that's why I don't do that anymore. You guys know I don't braid these little edges. I leave them alone and I don't do small braids because that ripped out my hair, so I didn't do that. These are pretty big braids. That's why it's not that many of them. This is about how much hair I have in my hair, guys. Not much hair at all. This was four packs of braid. So this was fairly easy to do, guys. It did not take long. I only used my shea butter, my tea spray, and that's it pretty much. And then before that, guys, I used my shampoo, conditioner, and deep treatment to condition and treat my hair to put as much moisture in there as I could before I actually braid it away. So that's pretty much it guys. Very simple braids. These are gonna be in for about six weeks, I want to say. So they're gonna be in here for a while. I am not gonna take them out. And of course I'm gonna wash my scalp with them. I'm gonna do a video to show you guys how it does washing it. So this is what the braids look like. They look pretty decent. So we'll see how they hold up on wash day two weeks from now. So what I am gonna do of course is make sure that I moisturize my scalp. Y'all yeah, still wrap these at night and put them away. And I'll moisturize with praying it and using my scalp oil, which you guys see me mention on almost every video on my channel. So that's what I'm going to use to moisturize it and seal in and put my scalp oil to grow my hair. So we'll see how much growth I get and we'll see how this holds up. So that's pretty much it guys. Just simple braids. These in it are in for six weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, if you haven't already guys, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, go over and watch my last video. Thank you.